name is Dina and we're going to be practicing a power yoga class. So if you'd like to join me, let's get on our mats. We're going to be in child's pose, so come to tabletop pose first. Shoulders aligned with the wrists and towel aligned with the knees. To get into child's pose, you'll bring your knees to the outer edges of the mat, big toes to touch. Send your hips towards your heels, send your arms forward, and soften your forehead to the mat. Notice how your body is feeling. Also notice the breath in your body. Remember that you can come back to child's pose anytime you'd like. You can rest when you need to or take water when you need to. If you hear you like to massage your third eye or your brow bone. I'll be guiding your practice, but you are your best guide. Take good care of your body. So take a cleansing breath, breathing in through your nose, filling up, and out through your mouth, let it go, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Begin our Ujjayi Pranayama or victorious breath. Prana means life force energy, and Yama means to restrain or control. So to do this breath, seal your lips, gently constrict the muscles in the back of your throat and begin to breathe in and out of your nose. If you don't hear the sound, you may try tucking your chin in slightly. Use this breath throughout class to create heat, to retain the internal heat that you're building to help you stay focused during your practice. If you feel that you've lost this breath, just come back to it. Let's come to our palms. Not quite into a tabletop, but maybe about six inches forward. And we'll come into a seal pose. So we'll send our toes up to the ceiling, shine our heart forward, opening up the front of the body, creating a back bend. On your exhale, come back to child's pose. On your inhale, let's do that again. Stretching out the front of the body, maybe gazing up, opening up your heart and exhale. Exhale to child's pose. One more time. Inhale, come forward. Send your toes high. Breathe in the back bend. Gaze up. Exhale, child's pose. Let's here, let's come back into our tabletop pose. It's important to work your spine before you practice. And your inhale. Send your gaze forward, drop your belly for your cow pose. On your exhale, cat, round your back, look towards your navel, allow your head to hang heavy, feeling the stretch coming from your sacrum all the way to the top part of your cervical spine. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Do this with your own breath. Maybe you keep your eyes closed. You can go as slow or as fast as you'd like. Make it as organic. It feels good. And 
come back to neutral, send your hips to the right, back towards your heels, to the left, and forward. Do this three more times, to the right, back, to the left, and forward. You can take it a little slower if you'd like. If you really like to hang your, hang out here with your hips towards your heels, that's fine. Maybe you come a little further, maybe you dip one shoulder and then the other. And I'm going to come back to neutral. Take your time. Four times in the left side. Sending your hips to the left. Back towards your heels. Hips to the right. Hips to the left. Back towards your heels. Hips towards the right. Two more times. Sending your chest 
up towards the ceiling like there's a stream flowing you from your chest to the sky. Inhale back to mountain pose. Exhale, hands come to heart center for standing forward fold. You can place your fingertips on the mat, maybe pedal up your feet, bending one knee and then the other. Come to stillness, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, long line of energy from your tailbone to the front of your head. Hands can rest on your shins or thighs. Her gaze is toward your mat, or maybe the person in front of your mat. On your exhale, plant your palms and step back to high plank. Again, shoulders aligned with her wrists. Your sacrum lowers, pull your belly in, and send your heels towards the back wall. Shift forward two inches and lower halfway. Your elbows are knitted into your ribs. Inhale, flip your toes under, or over rather. Your toes are pressing into the mat, shining your heart forward. Your thighs and your knees are lifted off the mat. On your exhale, Set this pose up. Your back leg is straight and strong. 
Heel lifted off the mat. Shift your right hip back, left hip forward. Breathe. Exhale, warrior two. Back foot becomes parallel with the back of the mat. Right hand right over the right ankle. Arms, reach out at shoulder height, using over the right fingertips using your Christian gaze. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Legs stay exactly the same. Maybe lunge a little deeper in your right knee. Side body stretch on the right side. On your exhale, cartwheel your arms down to the mat. Either step back to high plank or cycle through with your Akatata Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that outside too. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Shoot it through for phone and star. Place your right foot on the mat. Inhale, right leg, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Same as the other side. Inhale, crescent lunge. Palms facing one another and roll your shoulder blades down your back. Find a neutral pelvis. Breathe. Exhale, open your arms. Back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Arms reach out, make sure they're at the same height, gazing over your front fingertips. Maybe open your left knee, got externally rotating your hip to the pinky toe side of the left foot. Breathe out. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Left arm comes overhead this time. Back hand can rest on the back thigh. Or maybe taking the bind if you do it on the other side. Lunge a little deeper into the left leg. Exhale, plant your palms onto the mat. Cycle through your vinyasa of choice. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. At the bottom of your exhale, look forward, walk or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plank or drinking bird. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, Cycle through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Shoot it through, fall and start. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, the lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, part of your arms, release down to the mat, cycle through your high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Shoot it through, fall and start, lifting right arm. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, curl your arms down. Cycle through high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's cycle through that once again. 
but no chair in hell right at Kai. Ask him need enough. Inhale right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Shoot it through, fall and start. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, step back to high plank, single through. Breathe in, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to down. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Shoot it through, bone star. Inhale, three legged dog on the left side. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down. Cycle through, high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more flow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe in. Hands to heart center. Exhale, crescent twist. Prayer twist, revolve crescent. Inhale, arms. Reach out. Take the challenge. Detoxifying your organs. Detoxifying the body. Unravel. Left hand comes to the mat, right arm high. Gaze towards the ceiling. Place both palms on the inside of the right foot. Toe from your right foot to the other edge of the mat. Stay here for lizard pose. Or you can soften your left knee to the mat. Staying here up on your palms or surrender to your forearms. Coming back up to your palms, coming to Twisted Monkey by grabbing your right foot with your your left foot with your right hand, stretching out the quad, maybe looking backwards. To release, place both palms on the mat. Lift your left knee off of the mat. Your right leg meets the left. For high plank, setting up for side plank. Left hand becomes the foundation on your inhale. Side plank, setting your hips up. Your right foot, step in your left. Coming back to your high plank, cycling through your vinyasa, and exhale, down the facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, bring it through low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands come to your heart center. Exhale, curve twist or revolve crescent on the left. Your right elbow comes to your left thigh this time. Maybe looking over your shoulder, maybe extending your arms. Unravel. Hands come back to heart center. Place your right palm on the mat, left arm comes up. Nice little twist, detoxifying organs. Increasing our immunity. Place both 
both palms on the inside of the left foot. Left foot comes to the outer edges of the mat. Right knee comes down. Lizard pose. Stay here up on your palms. You can even keep the left the right leg lifted for strength. I'm going to choose to lower mine today. If you're ready, you can surrender forward to the forearms. Maybe your left knee opens for a deeper stretch.
Good, roll your twist, pulling both knees into your heart space. Releasing your right leg onto the mat this time. Pulling your left knee into the left side of your chest or your cage. And gently guiding your left leg over to the right side, your left Easing into the opposite direction, keeping your shoulders on the mat, maybe you push your eyes. Mm -hmm. Rattle your twist, pull both knees into your heart space. Give yourself a little hug. Ask yourself, are there any other poses that I need to take before final relaxation. Yogi's choice. If not, go ahead and relax in Shavasana. Taking up space, allowing your feet and your legs to flop open to the outer edges of the mat and your arms come wide.
the love, the light, and the healing power to the need. Humbly and gratefully bow to the love, the light, and the healing power. Thank you all for joining me.